The election of Donald Trump left many people unsure of what the future would hold. Cronkite News reporter Anthony Marroquin took a look at the expectations Navajo leaders have for the incoming administration. For Native Americans, like everyone else around the country, political ideologies vary from tribe to tribe. But one thing both sides can agree on, it's time to work together. The Navajo code word for hand grenade was no mercy. Peter McDonald Sr. knows a language that most people will never hear. No mercy in Navajo means potato. Oh, okay. Because yeah. hand grenade looks like a potato. McDonald was an Navajo code talker with the Marine Corps during World War II. In those days, he was stationed in the Pacific Theater to help defeat the Japanese. But today, his fight is at home. The Navajo tribe, like most Indian tribes, were all very conservative. McDonald is a strong supporter of President Donald Trump, but that hasn't been the most popular opinion among the Navajo. So, as I've always said, that uh, that we, whoever is elected, we as Navajo Nation will work with whomever. Navajo Nation President Russell Begay said he felt Hillary Clinton really connected with the common person and would advocate for Navajo on all levels of government. But he added that his nation was flexible and would work with the Trump administration. And we felt that, uh, that he was not really connecting uh, with who we are as a nation. But in McDonald's eyes, there's nothing to worry about. Having a Republican in the White House is enough to start celebrating. In Navajo means do it yourself to, to be what you want to be. And that's this Republican philosophy. BK told us he's especially excited about the president's plan to bring companies back to the U.S. because he says that Navajo taxes and regulations are comparable to those with Mexico and other countries. In Washington, D.C., Anthony Marroquin, Cronkite News.